Okay, good afternoon, folks. This is uh, Admiral Preparedness here. We just received this in the mail today. I ordered it because I saw one and I liked it, and I figured I'd get one and review it for you, and then uh, maybe get a couple more that have been modified by the different manufacturers. Uh, they're all made in China, so we all know that that's pretty uh, going to be a known brainer there. Uh, what this is is a backpackers butane propane style gas stove that they can use out in the field. Uh, what's nice about this one, of course, they have got them all in different versions, so we'll just uh, talk about this one in particular. But what I do like about it is it's compact, it's nice and stable when you use a manufacturer's uh, butane propane style bottle. It sits about like right here. I don't have any in stock right now because I just got this, so I was going to want to look at it and check it out before I actually go buy a $21 bottle of butane propane. Uh, what's funny about this design is I don't really think the manufacturer had a good patent. Uh, looking at these uh, other different items I've seen, I've seen out, here, out there that the color of the push button is orange versus black. That's a, that's a change that can keep them out of uh, a patent court. Another is the way that the fuel is, is brought to this point here for the burner. Uh, the burner I've seen are different. I've seen that these are longer because there's more distance between here and here where this could be longer. So you can have a larger pot or, or tool or whatever you're going to burn it on. The other one is this little guy right here. Can, believe it or not, I've seen others with uh, this different style of, of, of type of a bale that you use to do the valve. Now, this one here looks a lot different than others I've seen because this section here, it screws in, okay, right here. And so you figure that when they go out to purchase the parts for this thing, because it's all, you know, it's not about one big piece. So whatever they do to modify it, per se, for each part, like I, I know that you could buy these guys right here from XYZ Company. I know you could buy this piezoelectric igniter from XYZ as one piece. Uh, the fuel that comes out of this guy here, I've seen different uh, burners. Uh, I've seen these guys longer, so that means that the riveting section is different. I've, I've always looked at a lot of these, but I'll tell you what. When it comes to push the shove, if I had this out in the field, I'm definitely going to at least have fresh drinkable water. Because one thing I'd want to do with it is to, is to definitely pasteurize my water if I'm out in the field. If I'm stuck someplace in a, a bug out situation, I definitely want one of these plus a couple of the fuel bottles. Because I know I can find those fuel bottles if I scavenge enough. I'm going to find them. Now, another thing I like about this guy is it's compact. Of course, you saw me untake, take it out of the box. You know, this little guy here could be put anywhere. If you want to stash it, it's got a nice waterproof or at least water-resistant box. You know, if you want to tape it up, if you want to stick a couple in your house, stick a couple in your RV, you know, take it out and put it in a put it in a, uh, a, a rucksack and then put that rucksack in your barn or your basement or your attic. You know, you've got a place to cook. Now, also remember... You can use butane bottles with this, with a modified uh, device that they sell out there in the market for about 20, 25 bucks, you know, depending on where you look for it, where you can actually use those big green Coleman uh, butane bottles. I've got a bunch of those bad boys, so I don't have no problem about that. The other thing is, remember, uh, butane in the wintertime, you're going to want to keep that bottle warm. So when you go to use that, uh, that, that butane bottle, the, the temperature is a big to-do, so either keep it in your jacket or keep it in a place where it can stay warm or keep it next to you. Don't put it too close to a heat source because, you know, they do pressurize. So, again, it's, again, <coughs> it's a backpacker's butane stove. Really nice. Uh, I would recommend the uh, the ozone can can really do damage to these rubberized O gaskets. Now, there's an O-ring inside of here, so I'd probably take a little... A tube or a small thing of Vaseline petroleum jelly and try to coat that gasket and I definitely want to coat this gasket both sides and maybe put the gasket in a plastic bag that's kind of you know bigger than a bigger than the seal itself and push that onto there like that so that way that gasket is protected by that petroleum jelly from the ozone uh, you know you don't want to put this thing away for a couple years and come back and this, this seal's not made and all your gas is going to get out you won't you'll be very upset What's nice about this one is it has that long bail, so, you know, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, so this is shut, this is open. It's going to come out there, it's going to come out a pretty big flame. I'm going to do a demonstration of this one when I go buy the butane bottle that's recommended for it, but uh, I wanted to get this to see what it actually was and do a small, re you know, short review of it for you guys out there to let you know that, you know, it only cost me $5, 
it was five dollars and the fuel is the part that kind of hurts because a little expensive if you know what i mean 20 something dollars for a butane bottle but there are guys out there who have fashioned little seal adapters where you can actually use your other existing type of butane bottles to fuel it plus they make a nice big large adapter that can go on the coleman style green butane bottle that's what i've got now when i get that adapter in i'll do another review and we'll cover all this again but for now i just want to show you this because i just got it today i'm really excited about it i just can't wait to get out and use it uh i've got a lot of other things that i want to demonstrate out there and uh remember if you like this uh commentary or they like this uh, small video uh like us uh, you can subscribe and you know comment and tell you all your friends now because i'm, I'm new to this but i want to get out there and let everybody know because when i do a review if you ask a question i'll get right back to you i'm not going to wait six months or a year or never get back to you when you make a comment with this new technology i'll get an email or a little note, note on my phone that you made a comment and i'll come back and give you a my recommendations or refer you to somebody i'm that kind of guy where if i don't know it i'll tell you where i can get the information or i'll find it and give it back to you now remember when in doubt one is none two is one eat what you store store what you eat uh, keep the faith and uh, keep the powder dry folks admiral preparedness here signing out good morning admiral preparedness here uh, today we have something from china that i'd like to demonstrate it's for your outdoor cooking, camping, stove, butane, propane bottles. It's foldable, as you can see. We're going to open it up and see what we got here. It's all in Chinese, so I don't exactly know what to call this thing. We'll just call it the Fire Maple, Fire Maple Stand. Helps you stabilize your cook stove. Nice little... Uh, base it's got a couple different places where you can set your uh, bottle on uh, I made attachments here you can see that and there now it's on it's not coming off it snaps in place it has the uh, for the different grooves for well, two grooves, one for the smaller bottle, and then this size bottle here. That's not going to fall over. <clears throat> to just remove it, pop it off. The larger bottle, this one's full. You set it down. And snap it in place. little effort to get it on there but it works that's not going anywhere as you can see I'm tipping the I like this uh, I'm sell them my website it's the camp stove propane bottle plastic stand it's foldable effort to get it off but that's what you want you want it to be hard to get on holds up doesn't weigh anything at all there you go admiral preparedness here you guys have a good day and good afternoon everyone this is admiral preparedness here today we have a couple items i'd like to get you your attention to if you've ever been out in the woods or camping or hiking or just out around just emergency preparedness these little uh, propane bottles propane butane they're really nice to have but uh, the problem is when you put one of your stove tops on it screw it down they become top heavy so I've been looking around the internet and I found a couple companies that produce these uh, stands that help stabilize these bottles uh, Chinese lettering can't make out very much information on it very little English at all uh, I don't think there's a patent on on these because of the fact that there's only a couple three out there on the market that I've been able to find yet uh, as you can see 
somebody didn't get an international patent. Uh, all that being said and done, uh, they're almost identical except for a few changes. Uh, one is the more material. I've seen these out there. These I haven't. And uh, you can see the difference as far as the size goes. Uh, I, I'm more particular to big is better. And there's the, no big difference in the weight uh, because it's made of plastic or a polymer type material. But the key is, do they fit? Now, seeing how this one doesn't have a lip, it's pretty much useless. So I've got to look for another type of stand for that one. But we, with the concave style lid lip, these guys work just fine. You just push them down a little bit, get them to go in. You know, snap into place. Depending on how well you strong arm it. not meant to come off they're pretty well gonna stay stay put this one's you can see there's a this small design flaw with this one because the area here there's a gap that's not supposed to be there but based on the different types of material you're using but still not coming off So you'd be able to put your nice cook stove on top of there, have your pan, and get going. What do you think, guys? Any comments? Go ahead and like and share. Subscribe. I appreciate it. Admiral Preparedness here. Take care of yourself. Stay prepared. Hey, guys. This is Admiral Preparedness again. We received another special package in the mail today. Again, I think I know what's in this, but I tell you what, let's uh, get inside and take a look, okay? Direct from China. I think I know what this is. seen this before and I've seen this before too this is another version of the backpackers butane propane stove as you can see it has a different style of adapter a different style of oh this thing's a complete version change of another version uh, boy I tell you what that patent on this one was really done badly because if you have a good patent you wouldn't be able to have this kind of reverse engineer change copy yep sure enough now what's interesting here is this parts knurled I don't know why it is because you really can't hang you, there's, no, there's no way to turn it to you you want to take the bottle and do this you, this whole idea of this being black knurled is just kind of a waste of money and time uh the uh length of these guys is short it could have been a bit longer so that means that this the pot that goes on this can only have a certain diameter because it'll make it top heavy your standard uh off the shelf, one contractor spit these little bad boys out of the production line. I mean, I'm not knocking it at all. I'm I'm just admiring the uh, the the amount of time it takes to knock these things off. The bale, the burner, the burner's different too. Kind of like this type of burner. We're gonna get the other one in just a moment and uh, take a look. But uh, for right now, I just want to go over and explain this one. This is another version of the backpackers. 
butane propane cook stove. Now, there are other versions out there with a different type of burner. burner. There are others out there with the length that these are longer or shorter. This one's a short version. It's compact. I mean, I, I, I got to admit, that's kind of nice. Compact. Different parts. Again, this part here, I would recommend slathering that in some sort of uh, petroleum jelly product. That way you can protect it from the ozone. The ozone likes to destroy stuff over time. There's an internal gasket and an external gasket for different types of bottles. I do have an adapter that can go on the larger Coleman style propane bottles that uh, you adjust the control on the adapter and you have your bail adapter, your bail valve. All right, fully open and shut off. Okay, now this one's spring loaded so you can store it like that or like that. So you can put it away. Always remember to shut it before you use it on your fuel. You can lose it. it has a different style of uh, piezoelectric lighter. A little spark is shot across the tip here to there. One spark and this bad boy is going to fire off. So this is another version of the Backpackers Butane Compact Stove. Hi folks, uh, Admiral Preparedness here again. I got two different versions of the Backpackers Compact Butane Stove here. You can see a big difference. You can really, really see a big difference. I'll turn them here so that way you can see. So we got to tell you right now that I got a feeling that the uh, patent on this thing wasn't that great. Seeing as how you just make certain modifications to it and stay out of patent court. Of course, this is made overseas in China, which, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. But what's interesting is it's the same thing, but different. Now, I have the uh, bottles, but I have the adapters on order. They haven't shown up yet. That way I could use the big, the big butane bottle instead of the small, expensive propane butane bottles that you would normally use with these guys. What I do want to say is I'm pretty... Pretty amazed about how they, uh, how they, you know, stand up against each other. Uh, one thing I can tell you is uh, they're compact. Is like, like you say, they still use good material. Looks like uh, brushed aluminum, a little bit of stainless steel, brass. Uh, this one here uses uh, a little bit of different configuration, a little bit more thought put into it, but they kind of cheaped out on certain places and went the right way on the other places so you know what it is what it is you got to kind of figure out what you have to do next is take them and use them out in the field and that's what i'm gonna do next once i get these adapters in it allows me to use the larger coleman style bottles to these guys uh, i want to get that done in about a week i guess so i'll be coming back to you guys again but i do want to show you that there are different versions out there now what we're going to do is a back-to-back -back flame test uh won't do really a durability test, but more of a which pot can fit on what type. I think this guy here takes smaller pots, and this guy here takes larger pots, obviously, because of the spread. It's got a pretty big spread. I mean, that's a nice size pot will fit on top of that. This one over here looks like it'd be like a miniature pot, because, you know, you put a pot on here, and it might become topsy-turvy. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, even the boxes are different, which is okay. You got one box size, the other box size. So that's kind of neat too, so you can't ever get them messed up. Uh, the, the cool part about it is, is when you go out in the field, you know, as long as you got something that can boil water, and either pasteurize the water for you so you can drink it or at least cook your food. I like them both, but uh, like I said, I want to do a comparison. The burner style, uh, the lighter and stuff like that, that's pretty much, you know, no brainer. But uh, this one has a valve stem. The bale is a lot longer. So that way you don't get your hands burnt, depending on the size of the pot. Obviously, the pot's bigger. You know, you're going to have to go underneath there and fiddle with this. You know, the key is when you're fiddling with this, you might cause that bottle to flip over. That's why you want to use that small bottle. But uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we get those adapters in. And in the meantime, keep the powder dry and stay safe, folks. 
Hello again. Looks like we've got another little bot. Hello again. This is Admiral Preparedness again. Uh, looks like we got something in the mail again. Let's take a look and see what it is. Another surprise. I never know what's in these. So let's find out. This one is definitely from the United States. Oh, well, looky there. It came in. This is the butane propane adapter that's used to allow your different devices, gas power devices, to be used for other purposes. So let's see what we can do with this. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, here we go. These are what I wanted to talk about. It's the Coleman stove and these really interesting backpackers, campers style stoves. Very interesting concept. Varying different models. There's three stand. There's the four stand. The different style of elements. And of course this adapter now would fit on the bottom of that one or this one and then go on top of that one. So let's get that review going. These things are very nice for outdoor camping and, of course, backpacking, of course, is what they're meant for. But for emergency preparedness, which is what I do, I like to test all the different devices to see if they're compatible with some of the things that we like to have around the house for emergencies, bug out bags and camping, going out the field, something that can be used for everyday use. Just like anything else you have out there. Emergency preparedness is a proper way to get things that you need. It's not cooperating. So what we have here is the adapter. It has the propane side and it has a smaller bottle style. If you notice there's a gasket here. What that does is rotates onto it until it's tight. Then you have another adjuster here, if you can see that. That allows you to adjust the level of the pin to make the uh, fuel come out. There's a small down inside there, there's a way to raise and lower that pin. Now, I don't know if this is going to work right off the bat. Sometimes it's going to take some adjustments. But I just want to basically show you today how it all comes together. So what you have to do on the bottle is pop off that top with your finger. It should be easy to do. It's just a piece of plastic just to cover up the seal. The other thing you want to do is make sure that the veil, the veil is turned off. Okay, you don't want gas spraying everywhere. Okay, it doesn't work, so that means this guy here has to be properly adjusted. Right now it's not adjusted. But what you're seeing here is the bottle, the adapter, and then the stove. So we'll work on this a little bit later. But for now, I just want to let you know that I have all these items together now. So now we can do the real comparison testing after a while. Have a preparedness. Keep your powder dry. Protect your country. It's the only one you got. Good morning, YouTube fans. Admiral Preparedness here. 
Uh, we got something in the mail today. Let's open it up and see what it is so we can give it a good review, positive or negative, uh, from our friends across the Pacific Ocean. Uh, today we're going to give a review on cooking set out of doors. Obviously it's made in China. This is the retail box. Has all of your important information on the outside of the box. What it contains, what it is. And the box survived uh, the trip across the ocean via Chinese post. That's not bad. From Huang, never mind, I won't even try to pronounce the country or the origin of the place or not, but uh, obviously this couldn't sit on a shelf to be resold because it's been pretty well, you know, either they got done, oh, I don't think it got done shipping, maybe a little bit of it, but uh, <clears throat> the next time I order these, I'll get them in a bigger quantity. This is just to see if I like them or not to put them on my internet website. <clears throat> but uh, let's go over and look at it anyway. Okay. Now, it's for hikers, campers, emergency preparedness, anybody who's looking to just uh, cook something outdoors, you know, easily. Comes in a nice little netting. Could be used for other things. You know, if you're out there fishing and uh, you happen to not have anything to put the fish in, guess what? Here you do. You can also keep that fish alive because it's, it's netting. So that would make the fish stay alive, depending on what size, of course. You're not looking about anything huge here. Now, this is your standard style uh, cooking utensil. It has rubberized handles. Okay, they inter interchange like that. This is pretty nice. I like this because you can grab onto it. It's not slippery. Easy, compact, nice and folding. This is pretty, this is pretty nice. <coughs> you get your... Pots. Of course, it comes in your manufacturer's plastic sealed, which is really nice too. I really like these. These are really nice. Great for cooking. It's uh, nested inside the other one. And let's see what's inside this one. I'm excited. Something I've never had to be able to buy before. These are pretty cool. I'll put the big one in the back. How about that? That way you can see these guys. Uh, for all you folks out there that like to hike, day trips, these guys are perfect. Okay. Let's see what's supposed to be in this thing. One, two, three... Four, okay, so it's, what is interesting is it's showing, it's showing on the box something very interesting. I didn't notice this until now, but it's showing this. This is one of those mini cooking butane stoves. Now I'll show you what I've got <clears throat> that could be used for that very purpose. Now depending on what I decide to do, depending on what I decide to do with these, <clears throat> I'll sell them. This is what they're showing on the box. This is a mini cook stove, butane, propane. This one's been used. I've been, I've been testing it. This would go on top of that. This would fit on top of that. Of course, these guys here, you know, the, the key here is you're looking at a, get your stove, and you have your other item that go on top. Now, uh, the problem is when you, if you put it like that, that's all good and fine. But the moment you open up these grab handles now it starts to become top heavy all right so obviously when you put it on there like for now 
It's going to be okay. This is uh, one of those things where you kind of look at and go, hmm. Well, let's see. It doesn't have a large base. This one has a large base. And when you open or close the handle, you can cook. Uh, except when you're trying to handle it, you're going to hurt yourself or spill the contents. The larger the pot, the more stable. But still, it's got a little bit of a... We're going to do an outdoor field test on these shortly after this video is produced. But uh, again, for these type burners, I really, I really, I got to be honest with you folks, I, I really be hesitant to use this style of burner because you don't have a lot of surface area for this to sit on. What I would probably do is bring another cook device that would go on top. I'm going to start looking for them where I could have that still folded and have it sit on top of this where I don't have to worry about putting my material directly on top of this because these guys here, the small one, once, you, once you've got it like that, see, it's not going to want to stay. It's going to want to fall. And that's, that will be dangerous to anybody. They do make a four version of this. Now, maybe if I've got that, I'll bring it out and show it. But uh, it's not a good match for this type. <clears throat> So in saying that, what I could recommend is, this is perfect for what it's used for if you're going to set it on something solid. Uh, if you're going to set it on something like those three burner type stoves I just had up on here, I'd be a little bit wary because you don't want to have your food end up on the ground. Uh, what's really nice about these guys, again, is they, do the, they, they, they nest so it doesn't have a large storage area. And it has the fishnet, which I will call a fishnet storage. So you can actually put this out, carry nuts, carry berries. If you're out hunting, gathering, this little netted bag is perfect for that for that use. So that that right there gives me a an A plus because I can use this for other things. You know, also I could use the buckets, barrels, pots, whatever I've got to carry stuff. So that's also a plus two. So just remember, folks, be careful when you're out there in the field. Uh, remember that uh, this is another one of those items where it's not very expensive. I think it's only cost me about $11. Uh, paid shipping from a company in China. Uh, it's uh, the construction. The material is aluminum. It's coated with a material that I'm sure... Uh, it's non-toxic, of course. Uh, the box doesn't have anything as far as UL approved, underwriter's laboratory, anything like that. But you can just about bet that when you go out in the field, it won't let you down. Now, again, what I think I probably want to show you is if you try to take the bottle that I have here, the little cook, cook bottle, it will fit inside. But... That's a nice thing. As you noticed, I can take that and go and then go and go and go. So that's a plus. Now, when it comes to storing the cooking device, the actual burner, there you go. You see that? It all fits nicely in there. Now, another one, I'll, I've got another one of these on order that's a different type, but uh, I really like, uh, I like that, I like that material. It's got, uh, Everything that I would want to have compact, you know, I could put this away and forget about it until I really need to use it. I would wash it before I, I, I go to put it away. What I'd probably do is put this in another, a plastic uh, sheeting type bag or something like that to plastic or something to keep any moisture that may be in the area. Uh, we have a storage room that's pretty well environmentally controlled. It stays about 65 degrees all year round. Relative humidity about 28%. It's pretty dry. So, in saying that, this is a really good kit, okay? If you want to have one of these, which I do, and I've got these for sale also, but we won't talk about that right now. You take the uh, items out. You've got your cook stove. You've got your bottle of butane propane combination. And now you could have a hot meal whenever you're ready. 
And what's nice about these guys, it has a starter, it has an igniter. So you just shove it down onto the bottle. And now you can cook your food. Puts out a lot of heat. These guys can really, really cook your food well. So in saying that, this is Admiral Preparedness. Remember one thing, and one thing is the most important thing here. Take care of your country, folks, because it's the only one you've got. Talk to you later. Bye.